Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel. I wanna to talk to you about clear your sexual energy. And there's some really strong reasons for learning about this. Hi, welcome to my channel, I'm Patricia. My channel is Twin Flame Reconnection. Thank you for joining. Let's get right into it. First of all, I'm going to say it like this, and this is something that not everyone realizes. I know I didn't realize it at first, but I wish I had someone had said it early on. My guides were trying to get through and be like, you got to you got to work on that. OK, you need to. You need to. OK, there's parts of you where sexual energy actually is one of the driving forces and it is the creative nature of love okay we call it sex we call it sexual energy how many people are siphoning your energy are you an empath are you a super sensitive is your twin out there being willy-nilly with your energy and that's your energy and it belongs to you and it belongs back to you. So you need to, and you need to learn these techniques, how to do it. Because it does affect your root, your hara, and your sacral. And this is no joke, because this is where people will begin to feel these blocks. The blocks are real, because the root, that's tied in with finances. This is when people can feel like, their twin flame is using up all the energy is doing well, and somehow their finances are not doing as well as they should be. Now, there are levels, and you don't want to be hindered by old levels. And this is a part of the clearing. It's like unplugging yourself, okay? It's like pulling up anchor so that your ship can sail along. This is what is meant by clearing. Now, there's also healing, too, because people have misused this energy quite a bit, have traumatized people, attacked people, have diverted it, um, funneled it into organizations, and basically misuse. And that's putting it mildly, but it affects not only these parts, it affects heart energy, it affects mental energy. So if we're talking about hitting you right in your pocketbook, right in your checkbook, financial and money, first and foremost, maybe you were married to someone and that person drained out your energy and drained your checkbook right along with it. And you've lost your creative oomph and you just can't get out there and get anything going to save your life. And maybe you're not quite, you know, totally bad off, but like, hey, it's got to get better, right? And I want you to get better. I want you to get good at this, and I want you to understand why, and I want you to understand the next level of, you know, what is it all about? So let's talk about your sacral. This is uh, incorporating your private parts, and yes, that includes the genitals, this incorporates your reproductive system. And that means how is your DNA being delivered? Are there things that run in your family that you would like to, you know, turn back the clock on? So when we do clearing, the way that I do it, it's like getting into the time machine and trying to erase the bad DNA before it happens again and again and again throughout generations. Because sacral energy is also your reproductive energy. It's your reproductive cycles. That means hormones. That means hormonal balance. That means little kids, babies. That means steering away from the wrong people who would leave you high and dry with extra mouths to feed. I mean, straight up, this is stuff that has happened to people throughout lifetimes. How many lifetimes? How many lifetimes have you had, you know, bad marriages, bad uh, pregnancies, bad births, you know, bad, 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 bad. It, 
you know, for a long time was considered that women would die early or even die in childbirth. That still happens. I heard two stories this year. And we think of this in modern times that these things shouldn't happen. But this is also preventative, preventative. Okay. How do you steer away from that one false twin that has been an addict and would, you know, really affect your sacral area and you're the one carrying this? That's not a good thing. That's not a healthy thing. Doesn't matter if you think like it's supposed to. And how would you like to just swerve away from that situation where you don't have to even consider, hey, what are the laws in my state or what are the laws in my country? And you just steer clear of that soulmate, right? Because left to our own devices of our mind, sometimes we are our own worst enemies. We're not always clear on things. We're not always able to get the message through. Right through, okay? Some I'm going to say something right now because this is something I've heard from people I thought I was supposed to go through that soulmate. In other words, let them sleep with me, kind of test the water, see if they were. And then sometimes all you're doing is you're repeating a cycle of behaviors that you could be preventing so that you can get clear. So this is a little, this is a part of being celibate and it's a part of the involuntary celibacy, but there is much more to it because it goes back lifetimes. How many people are really, you know, or how many people feel like they're taken advantage of, someone shows up, they use them. We got to break a lot of patterns. It's very easily done when we start clearing the sexual energy. Other considerations, are you the electric or the magnetic? Why does it make a difference? Well, you could think of the magnetic quite simply as the person in the union who's always getting backstabbed. That's very relatable to a lot of people. You're persecuted, you're backstabbed, the burden's on you. Someone's always draining your energy and it doesn't feel good. And the buck has to stop here. We're setting boundaries on these things, energetic boundaries, and you kind of have to. Okay, this is why I say you need to. Because when we start clearing... You're going to see how some of this stuff begins to easily unravel. And yes, you got to do the work. You can't just, you know, not put some participation into it. Yes, you got to go to sleep. Yes, you have to follow the instructions, but those instructions bring the results that you want. The first step is just say no, right? But what if you find it hard? What if you're a people pleaser? What if you're just feeling obliged? What if you're married? What if, what if, what if, right? And so when you do this energetically, you're using the force of love to alter and improve and benefit yourself without awkward conversations or fights or conflicts because that's also in that level of sexual energy. This is deep in the roots. Think about an arranged marriage, right? And you're like arranged into this marriage and either you got to get her pregnant or she's got to have your baby or whatever. And, and it's just like, oh man, is it love? No, we are talking about love that wants these people out from so many lifetimes. Okay. And that's happened a lot throughout history. We are here to change history. You guys are pioneers. You're, you really are, and you have to think of yourself that way, as beating, being out there on the cutting edge, not feeling like you're the downtrodden or you're the one that's like getting the short end of the stick or something. You have to feel like, I've got a brand new opportunity here. I can prevent things. Only you can put out forest fires, right? But only you could do some of this work that benefits you and prevents ugly situations all at the same time and gets the energy back to where it belongs. Another thing that people consider, let's say you're married or you're in a long-term relationship and you're kind of like, I don't know where the magic has gone. I mean, we have financial considerations. We're 
kind of locked in, we're bonded to each other, we're trauma bonded by our roots. We're trauma bonded because we're the same culture, religion, ethnicity, you take your pick, check a box. Check those boxes, right? So we can stop checking the boxes. How do you stop seeing that person? How do you stop letting that person be in front, in your eyes, in your mind, instead of your twin flame? Because your twin flame is going to try to feel for you and they'll feel it all cloudy around you. Clouded up energy, mixed signals, mixed messages, other masculine energy or other feminine energy near you, or they think you're dead. Because these are the things that I detect in people's sessions. What is their twin flame really doing or trying to glean from them? How do you stop seeing someone that's in your environment? Okay, who have you been seeing over the breakfast table for years or days or a long-term relationship? Even if you rely on each other, even if there's children, especially if there's children, and you don't want to repeat these patterns, we do something to clear the mind and the eyes. And it is highly effective. And I was married and I had to do it. And I was married and I had to make the peace. And I was married and I was divorced. And I was married and I wanted to be free and clear of all encumbrances, including energetic ones, obligations, bonds, old karmic vows, you name it. Karmic balancing, I wanted it out, out, everybody out, okay? Because you want to be clear. This is how you're going to receive. This is how you're going to be lifted. This is how you're going to be toted to the level where these things start to smooth out for you. Are you interested? I hope you can join us. We are doing a segment on the 15th at 9 a.m. That's a Sunday morning. Um, we're also adding one for a Friday evening. So that works if you're in parts of the United States, West Coast, Hawaii, Japan, Korea. Okay. September 13th. Okay. At uh, 7 p.m. CST. What if you can't make it? What if you need coaching about this? What if you just have questions? Please reach out to us. Look at the links below. And I don't care where you are on the spectrum of your beautiful sexuality. If you're hetero, if you're LGBT, you exist. And you're here bringing a certain vibration of love that is vitally important. It's important for you because you will have your exact match, but it's also important for the planet because it's this beautiful spectrum that is needed here. It Our love fuels things. Our love creates. Don't let it be locked in an old, you know, tired out, deep root, blah, terrible things, okay? There's a lot of stuff in here. And people are just learning about it, not a criticism, but now there is, I have the results for you to do by doing the work that we outlined. And the good news is all you have to do is follow the instructions, okay? It is um, easy. It's about as easy as I can make it. Easy to clear sexual energy, easy to feel your twin flame, okay? This is not some ancient Egyptian esoteric things, and it is stuff that you can do. It is things where, um, when I do this, it is live. You get to ask questions, and I give you answers. So I'm an intuitive. I'm also a medical intuitive and a healer, an energy healer. If I were to throw down a card, I would call it probably the Eight of Cups, where it just says, you know what, whatever cups you have full Whatever you filled with, just walk away. But how you have to walk away is you clear yourself. You clear yourself as you walk. That's how we do it. That's how we roll as the pioneers. So I hope to see you there, twinflameringconnection.com, or check out the links below. Thank you. Have a good day.